What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch unboxing. Today we are looking at a brand called Trifaglio. It's an Italian brand and this watch is actually called The Vault and we will get to why it is called The Vault. This brand has a few different watches on their website. They're actually more popular for their other watches where they tell time in a different way. Um, they have a, like a regulator and a, a few different types of watches like that. I'll throw some pictures up of them. Uh, and they've been reviewed on, uh, on YouTube many times. Uh, however, this is a different watch, a different offering from them. One of their more recent creations, I guess. And like I said, it's called the Vault. It comes in this sort of neoprene uh, packaging. It is a watch case, uh, or you could put really anything in here. It's uh, actually pretty handy. And of course, I like that. And then in inside that, you get this microfiber polishing cloth with ha which has some uh, artwork on it and it's uh, it's pretty cool uh, out of the ordinary I guess uh, and then here is the watch so the watch comes on a beautiful leather strap and this strap is sort of a vintage distressed strap on the outside and then red on the inside I really like that um, and the dial is an enamel dial. It has applied indices. There's loom, stainless steel case, 41 millimeters. You have a Mecca quartz on here. It is a Seiko VH31, uh, 22 millimeter lug width, 16 millimeter width. So it is very, very thick. And of course you get a mineral crystal, not a sapphire crystal on this watch. And there is the side profile. So you can see this is a thick, watch and there's a reason why there is a little compartment inside of the watch itself where you could put uh, prescription drugs or recreational drugs whatever you want to uh, to put inside this watch you can it is spring loaded so it will close on its own and it will stay closed because not only is it spring loaded but it also is magnetically closed there's a magnet right at the crown there and there's a large crown on it which is also signed and it will snap closed on its own or you could just gently place it down and it stays very tight to the case and it, it does not move very easily. Uh, the case back is on this side of the watch obviously, it snaps off. There is a mirror on the inside so there's like a little bit of a reflection as you can see, it's sort of like a mirror. Uh, and then on the back of the watch it has the traditional information that you would get from a watch that uh, is, you know, has a screwed in case back or a snap on case back from uh, a normal watch that doesn't have a vault inside of it. Uh, and it just shows like a vault sort of door uh, handle, one of those ones that spin um, to lock the vault. And it just gives you the fact that it's a Seiko VH31 on it. Um, and, and then, uh, that's, that's really it. There's not that much information here. Five atmospheres or 50 meters water resistant. Uh, now I don't know if the actual chamber is water resistant. I would imagine it is not. So it is 50 meters water resistant. I think it's just the watch, not the chamber. Uh, because if it was, there would be some gaskets and there aren't. And I would imagine if you get this submerged I, I would imagine water would get in and it would not uh it would not hold out water and anything that you have in there would be ruined if it wasn't obviously waterproof uh so very quickly i'll throw it on my wrist and we'll do a uh, a loom shot uh a very interesting watch it is a very thick watch uh and uh we will talk about price in a moment once i get it on my wrist but it is a very thick watch it's just a, a you know it's a novelty i think that this watch actually, if it wasn't a vault watch, um, is a very, very good looking watch. Otherwise, um, if you're not into that vault, it's, you know, it's, that's it. I mean, it's really, it's not something that you would ever buy. But if you like this look, uh, this watch is actually a very good looking watch. I really like the applied indices. I like the dial. It's very, very well done. I like the case shape too. Um, so from looking from above, it looks like a really nice watch. Um, and you know, when you flip it on its side, it is very thick. You do get quick release also on these uh, straps also. Very nice strap, very supple. So very quickly, I'll throw it on my wrist. Oh, uh, you also get a very nice uh, buckle on here. It's sort of 
uh, a little bit different uh, to go along with the watch. It's a, it's a little bit of a sort of like a, I, I don't know, notched um, a buckle. It looks really good. It's also signed just like the crown and the case back. So I'm wearing the Zelos Swordfish 40, obviously a vintage inspired diver with an NH35, just a really cool watch. Uh, just been wearing this on and off. Uh, I'm going to come out with a full review on this pretty soon. So throwing the vault on my wrist. So uh, it doesn't look incredibly thick. That 16 millimeters is thick though. Um, it's not a huge watch. That's the other thing. So it's only 41 millimeters. Um, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, it doesn't look terrible on my wrist. It does look thick. It doesn't look terrible. And this is good for someone who needs to take pills with them or uh, doesn't want to carry uh, pills in a bottle or, or carry a actual pill holder or anything like that. Um, it works really easily. I'm not sure, um, you know, it would take, uh, it would take some pressure for this to open on its own, but it definitely could. Um, I'm not going to say that it can't. So that's always something to keep in mind if you're going to be buying something like this. Um, uh, but there you go on my seven and a half inch wrist. I don't think it looked bad and it's a really good looking watch. That's the thing. And you got that sweep second, uh, the, the Seiko VH31. Sweep second, uh, Mecha Quartz uh, movement. Just a great idea. I think that's uh, it's really good. So the price on this comes at $295. I have seen them cheaper on their website, uh, and I think that they might go on sale from time to time, but as of right now, they are $295. Uh, I think that's a little bit on the expensive side. However, again, it's the novelty of having a watch with a secret compartment. Uh, whatever you want to use it for is completely up to you, but it, it's sort of, if that is something that is really uh, novel to you, if you find that very interesting or cool, or uh, it could be a conversation starter, whatever it might be, uh, it's something that is really up to the purchaser. As I always say, uh, it's something that's different. It's something that you don't see every day. It does have a VH uh, uh, Seiko movement, so it is a Mecha Quartz as well. You have that sweep second, $295 isn't out of the ballpark. It's not an, an outrageous price for this, but um, it is it is on the higher side considering it is a quartz movement, but it's pretty cool, like I said, and then you have that little hidden compartment. Anyway, so like I said, I will uh, do a loom shot and then we will wrap up the video. Okay, there you go. So there is pretty good loom on here. I think that the uh, loom is the brightest on the actual hands and then the primary indices at 12, nine, three and six. And then the secondary indices are a little bit dimmer than the rest of them, but they are all loomed. And then you have orientation with that little triangle at the 12 o'clock. Looks really good. And of course, you know, uh, the loom still works when you open up the, uh, <laughs> uh, when you open up the compartment, of course. Anyway, uh, Oh, you also have loom on that second hand. So uh, just to see that the watch is still moving in the dark. Uh, anyway, please tell me what you think of this watch in the, the uh, comments below. Of course, I try and bring new brands to the channel. I try and bring uh, new watches to the channel, something a little bit different in hopes that uh, you guys find them interesting. It's just, you know, just something that you guys could, uh, you maybe did not know existed and now you learn that it, it actually is out there. Something like this is kind of different, kind of cool. It could be like a fidget spinner. You constantly play with this. I'm already playing with it a lot. Uh, just something different, something interesting. Uh, anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. If you found this video useful, helpful, funny, anything, uh, please hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. Uh, there are links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Interrupt your prime benefits. And I very, very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on and I will catch you guys in the next video.